Hey guys, just want to share with you all this cool, rare, vintage article, probably around the uh, 1978 time, I think, on Jack Roush talking about and taking us through another badass small block Ford Pro Stock combination, but this time with a bit of a twist. Okay, a quick recap here. We all know and hear about the 351 Cleveland 4V, boss headed, high port, etc., and all the successes it had, especially over that 10 year period of, say, 1972 to 82, and in numerous forms. Example, some Clevelands were um, as low as the 330 ish cubic inch, and some exceeding 400 cubic inch over, over that period. Most or all seem to have been high port modified on the exhaust. And as far as the inlet port, some were a field floor intake and some over the years were not, just left as is and ported throughout. But on this topic, or article I should say, things are, looked in a, things are looked at in a different approach, somewhat returning back to its roots and where this large port 4V Boss head first derived. That's right, the good old Windsor 302 Boss. Okay. So in this one, Roush turns to a 302 Boss D-Stroker to even a lower 290 cubic inches of Boss-headed power. Wow. Discovering in these 70s times that you can develop more power per cubic inch, especially when under 300 cubes, um, compared to you know bigger cubic inch combos or big blocks. Now stop for a sec and, and think about it. If we, if we were talking about what was readily OEM available at these times. He's probably right. You do, for example, a, a 427 big block Chev with its OEM heads being all out treated. I still doubt that it'll be making a targeted two horsepower per cubic inch in them times, naturally aspirated. It'll have to be making 854 horsepower, in fact, at them 427 cubic inches with its heads being used. And that, I'll doubt it'll ever get there. But, um, well, it'll, you know, I doubt it'll ever get there with those OEM heads, uh, you know, being used at the time. But point here is that this D-Stroke 290 cubic inch Boss, uh, topped with its badass 4V Boss heads, not only can achieve its 2 horsepower per cubic inch, which will take it out to a screaming 580 horsepower flywheel, but Roush here claims that this Pro Stock Boss will be up around the 2.2 horsepower per cubic inch, in fact, which is super badass. And we'll see this 290 Cuba at the 640 to 660 horsepower naturally aspirated and at 9,000 plus RPMs. And this here, guys, is a 1978 interview article. Wow. Uh, Roush here goes on to explain that at uh, this point the high ports uh, the high port exhaust plates are already at its fourth generation in design and approach clearly favoriting the large 4v boss Cleveland head um, uh, he, you know here for its ongoing potential and abilities this small cubic inch combo was to favor the guys wanting to run in them lower classes like altered modified production or gas or classes where small cubic inch per pound weight um, can benefit um, he states that the small block chev 283 cubic inch were already onto this and producing around 630 horses uh, at the time with years on end in developing these results so you can just imagine a high port boss 290 cuba and the devastation it's it's capable of doing to them chef boys, I mean. <laughs> After all, the larger cubic inch, uh, the larger cubic inch Clevelands, the four V headed uh, Clevos, have it over the small block chefs uh, of similar cubes uh, around that era. So stepping down in size should still see the same outcome, especially being dragged out to nine thousand eight hundred RPMs. Now that's super badass. A large port four V Boss head was still being um, figured out at this point, despite its previous R&D testing successes, etc. Some guys did, uh, you know, did um, field intakes uh, with high ports on the exhaust. Some guys didn't fill the intakes. Some even installed perfectly positioned fins on the intakes. 
like on the intake floors and vice versa with various different cubic inches as well. But all seem to have run very similar outcomes of 150 plus mile per hour up to around 155 mile per hour trap speeds and mid to high 8 second passes in them, you know, 2100 to 2300 pound uh, drag cars. And, you know, these are cars with uh, perfect Lenko uh, smashing 60 foots. So, yeah, badass. Also, Roush explaining here he's in the experimenting stage of header design or designs. Can uh, You can have a read there. And, you know, it just uh, reminds me, I myself, in, uh, in my naturally aspirated 10-second Cleveland in the 90s, uh, designed my own headers too with the exhaust guy. And I actually did an inch and 7 8 uh, primaries, um, 28 inches long. Tune length, I did mandrel with 12-inch long collectors at 3.5 inches in diameter. So that's cool to read, uh, you know, to read about what they had going on back then. Also, the carb choice on this 290 cubic inch Boss Pro Stock are not dominators this time, <laughs> but uh, 750 double pumpers and tweaked up a little also. But anyway, there you go guys. Roush's take on a small cubic inch D-Stroke Boss 302 Pro Stock motor that I think is cool and badass, returning and reliving a true boss combination that was destined for kicking ass in trans am nascar the streets and surely in drag racing with this one here confidently achieving 2.2 horsepower per cubic uh, uh per cubic inch and around that 640 to 660 horsepower flywheel uh and you know just shy of 10,000 rpms wow now that's what i call a real boss in true fashion badass